Hi, this is Doreen with Fusion Pilates. Today I'm going to talk about why, yes, your tennis shoes are probably what's called positive heeled shoes. And positive heel doesn't mean positive, hey, that's great. It means positive in the regards that the back of the shoe is higher than the front of the shoe. And most people would look at the sandal and say, well, that's a flat shoe, but actually it's not. If you look at the back, it's higher than what's happening in the front, which makes it a positive heeled shoe. If we turned it around and you wore it this way, then it would be a negative heel shoe if that was the front and that was the back. So what happens when you're wearing a positive heel shoe? It's not just that your leg looks longer, it's that your foot is actually always going into plantar flexion, meaning that the ankle joint has got something going on that's not in neutral. So I brought the rollers over here to show you what really happens. The rollers are higher than me, I'm only five feet tall. So if you're six feet tall, you can see what happens in the difference. If I took a one inch heel and put it underneath the backside of the roller, the rollers would move that way. There's your one inch heel. So you can imagine if you take a three or four inch heel, you might as well lie down on your stomach and crawl to wherever it is that you're going. But if you have that one inch heel, what do you have to do to the rest of your body to make yourself stand up? You're most likely having to thrust your pelvis forward and then curve in the rest of your torso and your neck to actually get you to be in that standing up position because you are not a set of rollers and you can't walk around in this position. So when you start to think, ah, oh, do my shoes have heels? Start to realize what else it's doing to the other joints in your body going from the bottom to the top and how you have to compensate to adjust for those heels. That's my tip of the day. Start to wear some flat shoes that your poor Achilles and your rest of your ankle joints and your toe joints and your hips and your backs can start to feel a little bit better.